I hereby present my portfolio, showcasing works accumulated from 2009 to 2024. However, we will focus on highlighting the key projects. These are my photographic works, Line 1 and Yellow Days. Of course, should you wish to pause for a moment, you are welcome to explore other projects as well. On September 18, 1899, at 9 a.m., a Mughal steam locomotive imported from the United States departed from Noriangjin, covering the 33-kilometer route to Jamalpo. This marked the Korean Empire's entry into the railway era. Initially constructed by Imperial Japan in the early 20th century to facilitate economic exploitation, the Jianjin Line became a conduit for the influx of Western influence into the heart of the Korean Peninsula. From the 1960s, it evolved into a backbone of industrialization and urbanization, driven by export-oriented policies. In 1974, the electrification of the Jianjin Line was completed, and it was officially designated as Subway Line 1, establishing itself as a key transportation system linking Seoul and Incheon in the metropolitan area. Line 1 is a photographic document capturing the people, everyday life, and landscapes along the Jianjin Line in 1899, before the completion of the Hangang Railway Bridge. The work involved walking along the railway and photographing the 26 stations between Incheon and Noriangjin. Gumi, situated in the midwestern part of North Jiangsang Province, South Korea, is well known for its light industry. A high school social studies textbook says that more than 69% of Gumi citizens are in their 30s or below, and Gumi has the highest proportion of women to men. The first generation industrial complex was built in Gumi, and the city enjoyed economic development in the early 1970s. This resulted in the influx of young people who desired to work at Gumi's factories. I was born and grew up in the city of Gumi. Like other fathers in my generation, my father, too, wore more of a casual jacket than a business suit and did not come home when he worked on the night shift. Most of my friends who happened to be female took the same path as their fathers and chose work over university. 